does a simulator actually help you fly better? Hello everyone, this is Tim. I'm back with another FPV video. We're gonna be flying the DJI Avada and we're actually gonna be flying that one in manual mode today. It is a little bit windy. I haven't gotten much chance to fly uh, in manual mode because uh, this winter it's been really wet and rainy and uh, windy. So uh, I've been flying a lot in the Uncrashed simulator on Steam. I bought it for, I think it was $14.99. Um, and I've been flying it with the DJI RC2 remote. And I, I matched the rates on the controller with some rates that I found on, on another uh, user's um, video on YouTube. So I matched those rates uh, with the game and I tried to match, you know, the, the drone settings, the, 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 the blades and the weight and all that. Um, if you want to know that information, I'll, uh, just let me know in the comments and I'll get it for you. But anyway, I've been practicing for about 60 hours or more in the simulator. I think actually the last time I logged into the game, I was over 70 hours. Um, but that's just because, like I said, it's, it's been raining and it's still kind of windy and rainy today. So I don't know, the rain has stopped for a little bit, but it's still pretty windy. I'm going to throw the drone into um, manual mode today and we're just gonna see does a simulator actually help you fly better because the first time I did come out here to fly in manual mode the drone immediately just went uh, took off I had no control of it and I crashed it into the ground bounced it about 10 feet off the ground it crashed again and shattered all the propellers well three out of four of them so that was my first experience in manual mode at this park and it looks like I gotta watch out because there's a dude with a huge plane behind me. I don't know if you can see it or not, but I'll definitely stay away from him. All right, guys, but let's uh, let's see if I can answer the question. What, does the simulator actually help? Because, like I said, my first time was a complete disaster, and I thought, well, I'm never going to be able to do this again. And uh, it was pretty tough in the simulator, too. It took me about, I don't know, probably a good 10 or so hours before I was actually comfortable flying and I've been flying for like I said over 70 now so anyway let's just get to it well it's cold outside so I've moved to the inside of the car so uh today's video will also be a test to see if I can actually fly from inside the car if I got good range or not so anyway I'm going to stop filming on the iPhone and um I'm going to switch over to the drone video and uh I'll let you know my thoughts at the end so you can see I'm already up here in the sky. I would recommend that you start off your drone in normal mode and get it up in the air, um, you know, at least 10 feet or more before switching it into manual mode. It's going to be much easier to launch it and to land it in normal or sport mode than it's going to be in manual mode. And, you know, it's pretty windy today. And so the, the window is actually, I'm actually fighting the wind a bit. But I am very surprised um, how good this feels right now. Um, like I said, I, I have been playing an uncrashed simulator with the same rates that I currently have on the drone. The physics are fairly accurate. You know, obviously um, I wasn't accounting for wind. Um, so this is a little bit different for me to, uh, to kind of be fighting the wind here. But all in all, I'd say this is doing really good. As you can see, I got Lucas out here. He's my volunteer on his e-bike. He can go about 20 miles an hour. I've chased him before in sport mode with this drone, but I've never tried to follow or track or chase anyone or anything in manual mode. This is the first time for me, so I'm going to stay away from that tree. I'm going to stay up a little bit higher than probably what I would normally do. Um, I'd actually like to fly lower and closer, but you know this is my first time, so... I'm going to stay back a little bit, but again, I mean, this this all feels pretty good. Uh, I'm, I'm pretty impressed, even um, fighting the wind. I think that um, spending time in the simulator with the RC2 that I'm flying with was a big help for sure. Um, again, I talked in the beginning of the video, I came out here and... Um, I crashed the drone immediately like it got away from me and you know you can see that my flight's not perfect but um, that's why I'm kind of in an open space right now but I feel really good about it 
that's my thoughts. I would say if you're going to get into FPV, uh, and certainly if you're going to use the um, Avada, then go ahead and get the RC2. Go ahead and get the remote. If you can't afford to buy the, the entire kit right now, and you want to start learning, go and get the remote. It's about 249 bucks. And um, and you can get this, uh, you can get Uncrashed on Steam for $14.99, I believe it is. And you can just start practicing. Like I said, I was practicing um, on a lot of rainy days, windy days, and it definitely helped. Like, obviously, I still got a lot of work to do, but I'm happy with the progress that I've made so far. And I'm happy to report that I had no signal issues from flying inside my car. So, yeah, guys, subscribe. I'll have more um, tips about Avada as I learn. If you want to follow along with my learning journey, uh, subscribe. And if you have any questions or comments, uh, leave them below, and I'll see what I can do to answer any of your questions. Next flight, I will um, <laughs> see if I can do barrel rolls and uh, flips, if I can do a little bit more acro style. It'll be interesting to see because right now I've got these three blade props on here from Master Airscrew and these are supposed to be geared towards cinematic flight, not so much for freestyle. But I'm going to leave them on and uh, next flight I will try a little bit of freestyle in open space. So stay tuned for that guys. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next video.